How's it going? I'm Visionary. This is Visionary Decks, and today I built a Shelf Hulk Infinite deck with the new Bursting Backpack. Normally, I would wait until Eternal Ranks to play this deck because right now we are, of course, in Standard and Shelf Hulk is very much not in Standard, but there are some decks that are just so exciting I have to make an exception for them, and this is one of those decks. Now, Shelf Hulk Infinite was always a very strong deck, and it was pretty decent at winning games, but the one thing it was really missing was an actual win con. Before this expansion, the best win con any Shelf Hulk Infinite deck could really have was just Poison Dart, which is a little bit slow. It's not the greatest. It's okay. <laughs> but when they printed a burst speed version of Poison Dart that is just better than Poison Dart, I couldn't stop myself from just building this deck, even if it is outside of the ranked season. I had to give this a shot. If you're not familiar with Shelf Hulk Infinite, I have played this deck multiple times on this channel. Here is a link to the most recent video I made with Shelf Hulk Infinite before this one. But yeah, other than Bursting Backpack, I literally didn't change this deck list at all from the last video I made on Shelf Hulk Infinite. Same exact list. I literally just took out Poison Dart and replaced it with Bursting Backpack. Hope you guys enjoyed today's games as much as I did recording them. Without further ado, here's game one. Uh, okay. We're up against Braum Anivia. This is a big control deck. Let's hope they don't draw their Explorer. If they draw their Explorer, this Valley of Imitation is as good as dead. Uh, we like to find these like non-burst predicts to start the game. It's always good to have in the hand. Uh, so now we just got to dig for Shelf Hulk and then find one burst speed predict. <laughs> and we're good. This is all we needed. So if we just find Shelf Hulk now, that's a GG's, probably, hopefully. Uh, second landmark wouldn't be the worst, but let's just go for another predict. I'll take this guy since he doesn't die to Avalanche. Pretty hype. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm actually, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't throw a skip in this stack. Like, I don't think, again, I don't think we need skip to win. <laughs> I think bursting backpack will probably be plenty on its own, but... Look at that. When we, look ahead, we already we found it. When we look ahead, we know how to prepare. Now, and now we just pass. We just we just give this ramp player his absolute dream of like five passes in a row, basically. It's not gonna be that many, but it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be like I I'm, I actually might predict. I'll predict here. No, I'll predict next turn. You know what? I'll take I'll take a pass. We'll burn his mana. What the heck? He would have like avalanche or, or catalysted there or something. Uh, auction is okay. I feel like it's a little late to have auction though, isn't it? I guess we can just, like, pull him out of the deck. Might as well. Because we don't want him to show up in a prediction once we once we have uh, Shelf Hulk on board. It's kind of the hope. How can Brom help? I could have also... Maybe I should have saved this for after we... We, we could have saved this predict for Shelf Hulk once Shelf Hulk's on board, but it's probably not worth All right. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this is a... <laughs> this game is going wonderfully so far. The only thing I might want is, like, an, an hourglass to save Shelf Hulk. If he tries to remove Shelf Hulk, like, the second I play Shelf Hulk with just a vengeance or something, we're gonna want to have, like, an hourglass, which we do have one of in the deck. Skip block there. I'll definitely play Valley of Imitation. Let me predict first, see if we can find that hourglass. If we can, that'd be hype. No hourglass. Okay. So we'll just skip. With the power of time. If I if I picked the careful prep there, would we have been able to find Hourglass and play it? I don't think we would have the mana next turn, would we? I don't believe we would. Alright, no Explorer. Let's go. Let's go. I said no Explorer as in, like, please no Explorer. Like, fingers crossed. But then he just passed. So it turned from please no Explorer, fingers crossed, to just he has no Explorer. Because I know he doesn't. Uh, cool. Okay, so wait, do we just win now? Is that how this works? <laughs> Do we just win here? <laughs> Shelf Hulk Infinite? Shelf Hulk Infinite, indeed. Shelf Hulk Infinite? Indeed. Don't you do it. Oh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> that's great. That does nothing. Unless he has another one. Um. Okay. I mean, so now, now we just fish for predicts, and we fish for backpacks, and then we win. Ideally, we want, like, cheap predicts. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a careful prep. We're going to throw this back to the deck, and then if I find that, it becomes zero mana, which is pretty cheap. Uh, this is also a cheap predict. I guess we'll take these. Shaped Stone is actually better, though. Let me take a Shaped Stone. Reason being, if he avalanches again, now I'm safe. 
We'll take this. We'll throw a conch back in the deck. This is good. I think this is a very good start. I actually should have thrown the one mana shaped stone back to the deck. That's that's fine. Now we got more predicts. And as long as we can just like find a little bursting backpack, I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> I think we've got him right where we want him, boys. I think this is it. Second avalanche. He thought that was going to be enough. Yeah. Imagine. Imagine second avalanche ever being enough. That's funny. That's that's so very funny. That is that is so extremely funny. I will skip here since I have so much predicts. Let's just see if we can find... I want to keep my hand clean. We just want to find, like, the best cards or no cards, basically. I want the best or I want nothing. And now we're just on the hunt for a backpack. I have so much value, I just need a backpack to store that value in. And there it is. <laughs> there it is, my friends. There it is. All right. This is going to be a new experience. I've never done this before, guys. This is... We're on a maiden voyage. The maiden voyage of the Shelf Hulk. The Shelf Hulk is our maiden. It begins. And actually, I forgot... Oh, no. Wait, we, we, might not we might not have enough Predict. Predict is going to be a rare commodity from now on. I need to Predict before I create more backpacks. Because I need to see if I can find one more Predict. Thank goodness. Okay, because every copy of this that we play creates another one. So I'm about to just flood my deck with backpacks. Like, I, I very much need to grab as much Predict as I possibly can. Wonderful. And now we fill our deck with backpacks. This should be more than enough. Um, alright. I mean, if I was this guy, I would probably leave the game at this point, but it is what it is. I, I, if he wants to stick around, I'm not going to complain. We'll pass. We'll play this uh, slow speed predict just to get out of my hands. My guy is cooking. Oh, I'm not the one getting cooked, though. That's for sure. I do be cooking, but I'm not the one getting cooked. This man is about to become a mushroom flambe. And I don't even know what a flambe is. All I know is that's what he's gonna be. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I do know what a flambe is. It's him, dude. It's him. <laughs> it's literally him. Nice. All right, what are we at? Eighty-four puff caps. Let's let's watch that. Let's watch. Oh, okay. Now we're. At, I thought that was the first one, and the second one was gonna be even more. Eighty-four puff caps is good. That is a decent amount. Uh, I am gonna hit the cap on scrying sands pretty soon, so we want to just like end it out here if we could. Like we could just. End this guy for good. That'd be sick. 144. Not bad. This is all burst speed? It is. Which is hilarious. Unless I play Forsaken Bakai, which I will. Just because, again, there's a 15 card cap. You can't play the same card more than 15 times in a game. And you know what? I mean, we can also just swing here. <laughs> there is that as well. But here's the thing. If I swing, is he going to surrender? We need to choose, like, we need to choose which win con we want more. Do I want to just hit him for, for regular damage with my units? Or do I want to let this man cook as a mushroom flambe? I think we want to let this man cook, don't we? I could just swing and he'd probably lose all motivation and surrender immediately. However, I want to see those mushrooms. I, I don't think we give this, this man even the slightest of chances to deny us our mushrooms. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna make sure he is dead, because I don't know that I believe he is dead yet. I'm like a little sus <laughs> right now. Why am I not finding more backpacks? It's kind of crazy. There we go. This couple. Thank goodness. I think once we get this guy to like 500, I'll be content. Can I even get him that high? 300 is pretty good, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> We're probably about there, aren't we? <laughs> We're basically there. Ah. Uh, that's a good number. We'll, uh, we'll end it right there. I'll end this man's suffering. From 20 to 0 in one turn. Are you ready? I believe. 20 mushroom top deck. Let's see it, baby. 20 mushroom top deck. We lost. We lost the game. We lost the game. It's over. It's over. He, he survived by 2. He survived by 2. It's over. How are we supposed to win now? A flambe is a French delicacy. Thank you. That was the part I was not sure about. <laughs> was it, whether or not it was French. Okay, I mean, I'll save my Shelf Hulk here. I'm not going to let him just, just kick my Shelf Hulk like that. Just kick my Shelf Hulk in the knees. That's not nice. They don't have shells down there. <laughs> Actually, they don't even have knees. I don't think. Do they have knees? I mean, if they do have knees, they actually definitely have shells down there. My bad. <laughs> if, there's, if there's anywhere they have shells... It's their knees, if they have any. 
I mean, that is a big auction. I have to say. Also, it is it is admirable just how much healing this man has. And how he thinks that is going to be enough healing. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's probably GG's, right? Like, it's probably safe to assume his next top deck will be at least eight. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't see this deck ever being a problem. I could never see this deck possibly be becoming toxic in any way. <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready? He does. He knows it's over. 19. Still not 20. I mean, I'll take it. It, it is a win. A win is a win. GG's. G freaking G's. Okay, terrible starter hand. I want these cards in my deck. I do not want them in my hand. This is a little bit better. <laughs> we got a Yasu. Oh, no. He's a Poro satting already. It's because he's French. Because he knows what a flambe is. It's because he has tasted a flambe before and he knows. <laughs> He is, he is about to become one. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess we got, like, the best hand I could ever really ask for. Again, all I might want is an hourglass, and there it is. I'll play a conch just to get stuff out of... I mean, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Maybe I should have played conch first, because I don't know if I need two hourglasses. It's a little bit much, but... I'll, uh, I'll let I'll let Conchi boy here help us cook up a beautiful flambe. I'll let him attack. I'll let him just tenderize the meat a little bit, if you will. It, it does seem like our our last our last flambe was a little bit undercooked, so we're gonna try and cook it a little bit more this time. Always by my side. Um. Okay. So we want to play we want to play Valley next turn. We want to just wait as long as we possibly can before playing Valley. I probably should have taken a quicksand from the last conch, to be honest, but unfortunately I did not. I'll just go for this. I'll maybe pokey stick. I don't know what to do with, with my extra mana this turn. I genuinely don't know. I don't see any need to block. I'll just skip. Shouldn't we be playing skip in this deck? We kind of should. We kind of should. <laughs> yeah. I... It's just like, if we, if we get the ideal combo off with backpack... Skip's kind of unnecessary. It's the only thing. Uh, we'll drop the landmark here for sure. I actually should have attacked first, because now he might just, like, landmark removal immediately. Okay, that's one blocker down. It's fine. Where Tebow? That's a good question. <laughs> that's a very good point. Wait. Oh, but we can't pull Teemo from our deck. Even though he has one mana, Shelfle cannot, like, pull Teemo out of our deck for us. Teemo would be good in this deck, though. I think, I think what I'll do here is I'll probably just careful prep to make hand space on a trinket trade or a shaped stone. I'll throw shaped stone back in the deck so we have a better chance of finding it. And I'll take a second shelf bulk just for safety. Just for safety's sake. With it's going to be three shelf bulk. Because I'm going to, because I predicted and then I, oh no. Oh no. Wait, I might have bricked my hand on accident. I might have made a little bit of an oopsie. Hopefully I didn't. Hopefully we hopefully we just flambe this man this turn. I mean, if there's one thing I know for sure, I am never running out of Shelf Hulk. I guess we'll just see if we can kill Yasuo here, and maybe he'll surrender off of that. But ladies and gentlemen, the flambe is now in the oven. <laughs> here we go. Oh, no, he's leaving, isn't he? This is the moment he leaves the game, isn't it? This is it right here. This is it. He's done. He's out. He started this game with a Poro sad. I can tell this man has a weak... Has a weak emotional status. Oh, okay. Never mind. He's in. He's still in. <laughs> we got him. He's still on the hook. The fish is still on the hook. And now we're reeling him in for the flambe. The chef is... The chef is preparing... Oh. Wait, I thought the... Okay, I just... I, I spammed my cards a little bit too fast. It looked like that valley was instead a backpack. And I thought we had just won immediately, but we haven't. Uh, so again, we are at just the classic, like, fishing for the valley period. Where we're just... We're fishing for the backpack. Excuse me. Got my backpacks and valleys mixed up here. Understandably. So we just, you know, we just sit here. 
Same old, same old. We just play cards until we find backpacks, then we win. It's that simple. Uh, since he's out of mana, I will just very comfortably play all the slow predicts. Like, very, very comfortably. Uh, I guess my hand is getting a little bit too full, so I should probably stop. I should skip this if we don't find a valley. I'll skip. I will skip. Not the kind of skip I wish I was skipping. <laughs> I wish I was skipping and stealing this man's cards, but... We'll just have to settle for a backpack here instead. Get in the backpack. I'm cooking. I'm cooking you. <laughs> Alright, let's 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 finish this, shall we? I feel like I feel like I feel like uh <laughs> I'm starting to get a little hungry here. <laughs> I want this flambe on my table already. I, I if we do, I probably should have taken one more predict, because again, like it's gonna be very hard to find predicts from now on, but we can just find like nice one more predict here into a couple more backpacks and this guy's this guy's as cooked as a as a lobster let me tell you lobster flambe i don't even know if you can flambe a lobster has anyone here ever flambe a lobster before <laughs> i'd assume it would taste better if you if you buttered it first <laughs> imagine yeah imagine being yasuo right now zero four just sitting here Watching me dump piles and piles and piles of mushrooms on him. Alright, I mean, that's our last predict. Unless I randomly find, like, predict or backpack from... I don't know what's funnier here. <laughs> there's there's a couple things we could, in fact, do. I don't... I don't I'm gonna go for the, the pranks. I'm just gonna go for this. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. We should we should end round before this guy quits. Low key, but like, I kind of do want to rob him first as well before we cook it. I like I like I like this guy's. Wait, could I draw a predict here? If I draw a predict, dude, I'm insane. If I draw a predict here. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I can't play it though. I thought it was I thought it was zero mana. Nice. Very nice. Um, I mean, that is two Otterpus down, unfortunately. Rest in peace. They died for the most beautiful flambe in the world. Honored to have them... Well, they're no longer with us. I was going to say honored to have them with us. Oh my goodness. I don't even... I'm stunned. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know... My hand is too full. I have too much going on, man. I think... I think we play a Shell Folk. Rest in puss, true. Rest in otter puss. I mean, he is... He's not resting, but... It, I, he is resting. Just permanently resting. No one is promised tomorrow. Love the fact that I zoned out for a second, and as soon as I tune in again, I see this. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I already tuned out a couple seconds. It's hard not to when you're playing this deck. <laughs> All right, we'll just uh, we'll drop the the chunky otterpus, the most chunky otterpus that has ever existed. I hope, thank goodness. I was gonna say I hope he removes at least one shell folk here. Ideally, just one shell folk. Um, because my hand's a little bit too full for three. Like getting three copies of everything I pick is just not ideal. Hey, <laughs> so let's go for this. I'll save this shell folk. We'll have two on board, and then. Uh, Let's just see if we can flambe this man a little bit more before he goes out, you know? Hey. <laughs> we in fact can. How much how much do these plant each? 50? 56. Zero mana, 56 puff caps. I mean, technically zero mana, 100 puff caps, because I got two copies of it. That's a good game. That's a good, skillful <laughs> game of Legends of Runeterra right there. That is a extremely <laughs> well thought out... <laughs> Well thought out and and uh, skill intensive game, huh? A lot of Yasuo Malphite happening right now. It's just going around like a disease. <laughs> I guess we'll just keep Aux. Do we? Even, I I don't even think we need Auction in this deck. Honestly, we could probably cut Auction. Uh, by the way, thank you for the three months, Captain Mal Reynolds. I appreciate the support. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to the stream. And thank you for the sub. Sorry I missed it. We were in the middle of a very intense shelf folk moment. 
Uh, but thank you for the sub. It means a lot. Okay. Look at that. Shuffle. <laughs> That's the card this deck was built after. That's crazy. Something tells me we're going to want that one. Uh, landmark would be Hype. When we look ahead, we know how to prepare. And ladies and gentlemen, we are off to the races. We are off to the Shell Folk races. We're going to race some Shell Folk. We are going to throw some sea monkeys in a jar and race them. Probably shouldn't put them in a jar. Probably should get like maybe a, a fish tank. Be kind of hard to race. Be kind of hard to race anything in a, in a jar. <laughs> Probably the worst place you could host a race ever. Literally the worst possible place. A jar. You know, speaking speaking of racing sea monkeys, I recently found this this TikTok channel on YouTube, and they legitimately do that. They I, I don't know where that came from in my mind. I wasn't even meaning to like connect to that commentary wise, but I I just I'm just now remembering I legitimately found a YouTube channel the other day and they just race sea monkeys. That's what they do. They have they have like this long like Hot Wheels track, except it's just filled with water. It's not actually Hot Wheels, but it's like same type of thing. And they and they just like they have two sea monkeys at the start, and then they just like pull up the gates, and the sea monkeys just go at it. And and the whole TikTok is just you get to watch the sea monkeys race, and you see which one wins. They did one where they raised a pregnant sea monkey against a regular sea monkey, and I think the pregnant sea monkey won, if I remember correctly, which was insane. See what I've learned? <laughs> that's, that's just my little show and tell moment where I was just telling you you guys what I've learned. Any, I don't remember the name of it, but if you search Sea Monkey Races, I'm sure you'll find it. If that just piques your curiosity. It's definitely, um... It's definitely a choice. <laughs> if you want to make YouTube content, it's definitely a choice to race Sea Monkeys. I don't know if that's like the first thing I would have thought of. Obviously it's not, because here I am with visionary decks, but... You know, to each their own. Some people want to build cool decks. Some people want to race sea monkeys. Some people want to cook a flambe with sea monkeys. And that's me. That's me, right here. In this chair. In this very chair. At this very moment in time. Cooking the most... Gourmet of flambes. With my sea monkey empire. I guess we'll go for this. I want to leave at least like one unit on board, but if he is giving me board space, that's good for Akshan into Valley. I'm very happy to play Akshan here because that might bait him to play like Yasuo kill Akshan type of thing. That's fine. Cool. Yeah. So, I mean, I think we just do, you know, what Shell Folk's deck do best next turn. Shell Folk decks. I said Shell Folk's deck. You know what I meant to- Oh, that's kind of annoying. That's fine. Uh, so we did- <laughs> We did kind of top deck, like, a lot of the cards I wanted to stay in my deck this game, but... I'll at least throw one of them back in. We'll throw this back- I should have thrown Scrying Sands, actually, because that's just more valuable. And you know what? I guess we'll- we'll- I'll start off with a Predict. This might seem weird when I know, like, our win con is Bursting Backpack, but again, I think Predict is incredibly important. Uh, Shaped Stone is very good as well if he's stunning. He can't stun for more than two damage this turn, though. So we should be safe. So I guess we'll just take backpacks. Let's start. I think we have plenty of predicting hands. Take some backpacks. And let's get to business, baby. Here it is. You can leave now, sir. If you if you would like to. If you know what your fate is, and you and you do not have the time to sit here, I would not... I would not judge this man at all if he decided to leave this game at this very moment. But if he decides to sit through the entire flambe process, if he decides he would in fact enjoy becoming a flambe, then I guess I have no I have no choice but to cook him. Let's <laughs> let's let's cook this flambe, shall we? 40 puff caps, not bad. So it takes four four backpacks to go to 40. Six backpacks is 84. Just trying to keep, like, a mental note here so I can better understand for the future. 
This is what, like 130, 144? This is pretty good. Uh, we are <laughs> we are out of predicts, so if I could just find, hey, <laughs> a little more predicts would be nice. Pog. Very cool. Very cool. There it is. Yeah, now we just, I mean, I think we can flambe this guy in one turn. I know it's kind of rare we do the, like, one turn flambe, but I think I think we got it this, this game. This game is indeed looking like a one turn flambe. Hey, more predict. I get. Predict, once you really get going, just becomes rarer and rarer because your entire deck just fills with backpacks. So, like, contrary to what you might think, I do not want to just lock in backpack every time I see it. That is far from the truth. Like, backpack is probably the most common card in my entire deck by now. Let's be honest. <laughs> Casually planting a warhead in the enemy deck. Who gave you the secret recipe? I mean, yes, I guess the secret's out now. I do, in fact, cook my flambés with a warhead candy <laughs> in the middle of them. That is why they pack a punch, as they do. <laughs> I, I I, do... I'm not sure if it, like, stays intact. I assume it just, like, melts during the cooking process. It all just sort of turns into, like, one gooey soup on the inside of the flambé. But that's, you know, that's part of the fun. <laughs> Sir, you have zero mana. Stop playing cards. No, I... I don't think I will. <laughs> I don't think I will. <laughs> okay, I mean, as we've learned... Oh. I was gonna say, as we've learned, like, we probably want to play a, a, a few more backpacks, but I guess that's it. I guess that's all we get. Okay, I mean... 14 pop caps. That's nothing. That's nothing, dude. Appreciate this guy clearing some board space so I can go ahead and play another shuffle, by the way. That is nice. That is considerate of him. It's funny he thinks he's even going to survive this first card draw, though. So. It is GG's. This, this is ridiculous, man. <laughs> this is insane. This should not be legal. This should not be an eternal. They got to do something, man. They got to patch this card. In case there's any mix-up, I don't actually put a warhead in my flambés. Like, not a nuclear warhead. Just the candy. The candy. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that breaks any con uh, Geneva Conventions, does it? Just putting the the candy warhead in a in a flambé? I think that's allowed. I mean, like, if I if I cooked it in front of Gordon Ramsay, he'd probably yell at me, but I don't think it breaks the Geneva Convention. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. All right, Volibear Janna. Volibear Janna is not ready. <laughs> is not ready for the puff cap insanity that is about to come their way. How is the infinity going? Oh, it's going. It is certainly going. Uh, let's let's take a let's take an ancient hourglass. I could take a second shellfolk, but that would delay the entire combo we're trying to do by an entire turn. And against a Volibear deck, I don't think I'm comfortable taking an entire extra turn. So. I think Ancient Hourglass is a little bit of a safer option that will at least, like, help us save a Shell Folk. I'll take a Scrying Sands. It's good. I do want one of those in my hand once we get the combo off, so that's hype. Divine Draft. Okay. So, all we're missing now is either... All we're missing now is Valley. It's just Valley. I was going to say Valley or Condense. But we just want Valley. <laughs> this it, it, I've played this deck for so long before Valley even existed. You used to you used to just like play Shell Folk, Condense Shell Folk, and then drop a second one. But like, honestly, Valley of Imitation made this deck 10 times better. It's insane how good it is. Hear me. You want it just it lets you do the combo like an entire turn earlier. Which is way too overpowered for a deck like this. Uh, I guess I'll take a Purpleberry Shake just to kill off his challenger here. It's just a good trade. And then we'll go ahead and draw one. And maybe we just top deck the exact card we're looking for. Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, actually, I'll just poke you stick. Because I can save Purpleberry Shake for Shelfolk. Let's say he, like, Mystic Shots. And then I Purpleberry Shake before he plays, like, the next Mystic Shot. There could be a scenario like that. You never know. 
cyanide candies. Hey, okay. I mean, again, Valley of Imitation is like way better than Condense, but I guess this will do it. Could drop an Auction. Auction could eat up some. Auction could definitely eat up some removal here. Let's let's play this on a unit. At the very least, this is going to, like, make him use any pings he has on the conch. It also might just make him use any pings he has on Auction if, if this goes through. If it doesn't make him use a ping on the conch, he'll definitely ping Auction. It's good to just, like, since we're, since we're slowing down a bit, we don't have Valley. We're going to have to wait until turn 7 to win. There it is. Like, so good for me he played this on Auction instead of Shell Folk. And we still have Hourglass. I, we're looking good. We are looking A-OK. -okay. So now we just play Shell Folk. Uh, we Hourglass when he tries to kill it, and then we Condense next turn. GG's. I'll pass. Happily. Okay, he attacks. Fair enough. And this is it. I don't know a single scenario where we lose the game here. I cannot think of a single scenario. But if there was one, <laughs> it probably would involve that card, wouldn't it? <laughs> that card that card would prove to be a little bit of a problem. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think we ever like play this, then play the next shell folk, right? I think we just condense. We just drop one. The enemy presents the scenario. <laughs> yeah, that's that was that was perfect timing, wasn't it? Just without missing a beat. I'm trying to like do my best. <laughs> well, would you look at that? <laughs> it's the scenario. <laughs> what in the world? Where did the scenario come from? That's crazy, dude. This scenario just came out of nowhere. I mean, I guess we'll try and do Shelf Hulk infinite things here. Um, like, not even a buff can save me, because these just go on stack. That's so, that's so unfortunate. I suppose, I suppose I'll throw this predict back into the deck, since I'm not going to have a chance to play it. We only have a chance for burst predicts this turn. Uh, another careful prep would be good. I guess let's just throw more careful preps into the deck, maybe. I want to I want to fish here for bursting backpack. We're gonna try to do the entire combo burst speed. This should be fun, actually. This should be very fun. This should be extremely fun. I'll throw one more bursting backpack into my deck. Um, we might actually have a chance. This is not looking too shabby at all. I'll play all of these. We'll throw the other like one mana one back to the deck. We'll predict one more time, and then if we could just find like a little more predicts, ideally, it'd be hype. I guess I shouldn't have filled my deck with more backpacks, should I? Hourglass saves it. Oh, wait. Hourglass does save it. Oh, well. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny you noticed that, actually. That is a very funny thing to notice there. Okay, more predicts. Hype. I mean, as many predicts as I can find. Which, dude, that is so many predicts. Wait, that is so good for me. That's so many predicts. That's insane. I think we're fine. I think we actually could flambe this man. I think we could hit a one turn flambe. Well, let me find one more predict, please. <laughs> this is unbelievable, dude. The burst speed. If I if I win this game, I swear. I swear, dude. If I win this game, there's no way. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pick careful prep here. I'm gonna shuffle this scrying sands back if my no. I can't. I'm going to shuffle this back in my deck. I want better odds of finding more predicts. The more predicts I find this turn, the better. There it is. That's the very one that we that we shuffled. Beautiful. I, I will pick uh, Feral Prescience just since we do get three copies here. I want the third one to be zero mana. Excellent. And <laughs> I, think, I think we got him. I think we flambeed. I think we cooked. I am a little bit nervous about the 18 HP because uh, we have tested before. And it does seem like... 18 is a pretty high bar to clear with this deck, but you know what? I admire this man's patience. He is a, he is a patient man. I do admire that. 
If if he wins here, if he wins the RNG, he deserves the win next turn. If he somehow wins. <laughs> I think Akshan is just better here. <laughs> Chef, my flambe was drenched in salty tears. That's strange. We, we treat our chefs with the utmost of respect and dignity here. Why would your flambe be drenched in tears? That makes no sense. This is this is one of the highest integrity kitchens in America. And yet you say your flambe, you claim your flambe was allegedly drenched, not just sprinkled, not even just coated, perhaps, with tears, but drenched? In this timeline, that does not sound like my kitchen. I think you've got me mixed up with a different kitchen, my friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I guess I will attack here. So this is this is Annie Jin. Can Annie Jin win the game before turn six? Because they better. <laughs> if there's any deck that could do it, it's Annie Jin, dude. But do does Annie Jin even have the capability to beat us? I don't know. This flambe is raw. I mean, yeah. We just uh, did. I serve the flambe yet? Hello. I didn't tell you the flambe was ready. Are you trying to eat a raw flambe? What are you doing in the kitchen? <laughs> go go sit back at your table. I'll, I'll don't worry. I'll let you know when the flambe is cooked. <laughs> we actually one of our one of the things we pride ourselves here. One of the things we pride ourselves on here at, at Visionary's Kitchen is once the food is ready, <laughs> we tell the customers. We let them know. <laughs> we do in fact alert you to the fact that your food is ready when it is ready. I mean, this is this is looking a little bit spooky. I'm gonna go for this. We'll we'll top deck a pokey next turn. I guess we actually we'd rather block here to save HP and pokey crack shot or boom crew. Probably boom crew. I was gonna block here because crack shot is a back row unit, but it's better to just save as much HP as possible. I believe this is the best way to save HP and we'll kill Boom Crew. I'll leave Crackshot alive because it does the less damage than Boom Crew. Uh, thank you, Jean Braguas. I probably just butchered your name, but thank you very much for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the stream. And thank you for the support. It looks like the Sump Workers left the valley. Yes, they. the Sump Workers did in fact leave the valley. Um... Turns out, actually, we, we finished building what the sump workers were building in the valley. Again, we weren't sure. Was, wasn't quite sure what it was that we were building with them. Turns out, we were building a gourmet kitchen. Uh, which we are now, in fact, cooking in today. Hmm. Can't pokey stick that, unfortunately. He is doing a lot of damage here, I have to say. He is getting close. He is getting awfully close to lethaling us, guys. I don't like this. I do not like this. I am, um... I'm beginning to get a little bit concerned about the state of this flambe. Seems like the flambe is cooking me. <laughs> Did I forget to wear my gloves? What's happening? <laughs> Where are all these burn marks coming from? What's the deck code? Exclamation mark deck. Um, just exclamation mark deck, if you, if you would like the code. Tell him Visionary sent you. Hmm. Okay, I think we go for this. I could also... Probably better to block like this. And then... Scrying here. Hmm. We're going down to four. I do feel like... <laughs> I do feel like... That is not quite safe, is it? Let me be careful prep and just see if we top deck like a... Pokey stick? Or something? Trinket trade is nice. Trinket trade is nice. Careful decimate. Yeah, we're playing eternal, so decimate is very much on the table. Here we go. Okay, wallop would, would save us. Or another scrying sands. What's better, wallop or scrying? I think it's scrying sands. Just because it's cheaper. <laughs> I think. Oh, no. Wait, I can't afford scrying sands this turn. Otherwise, I would have mana next turn to pull it. No, I have to pass. This is it. This is all I have. I, I have to stop right there. I'm out of mana. 
That was so close. I stopped following- I stopped following the recipe for this flambe, and I almost burned it. I just- I have to hope. I just have to hope this man does not burn me. Don't you do it. I don't like all this talk about fire. I- but he didn't burn me. I guess we're safe. I guess we're okay. This is it. The final step. We put him in the oven. It's flambe time, baby. It's fl Is that even how you... That's probably not how you cook a flambe, is it? Is he about... Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's wasted mana. That's a decimate that does zero damage. Technically, it's a decimate that does one damage, but that's acceptable. I'll accept it. Okay, here we go. We must swing at this man with everything we've got. I, I unfortunately am out of mana. I am literally at zero. I have no more money. I have run out of money to spend on this flambe. We will have to work with what we've got. We have some ingredients, but we don't have much. But that's all right. We will we will cook. Let me cook. That is all I ask of this man. I humbly ask him to let me cook. That's fine. It's one stun. It's nothing. This is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. I mean, this is a lot of predict. I think we actually do just flambe him here. I was worried if flambe was not even on the table. I was worried he was not even going to be on the counter. But uh, it looks like a flambe is is very, very likely to happen. So it's good. I don't want my hand to get too full, so I'll try and manage it. I'll definitely, I'll do my best here to like balance the amount of predicts we have. I gotta pick one more predict just because I'm getting low on predicts there, but uh, the next time I find a the next time I find a uh, backpack, I will absolutely pick it. I mean, if this if this aggro player <laughs> sits through the absolute madness he is about to sit through he is the strongest aggro player of all. <laughs> I do not know a single aggro player that I've ever played against in my life. That would endure this much waiting and passing and patience. Shapestone is very good. That could pop our landmark. It's a very good card to have. I'm gonna play this just to get this out of my hands. I probably should have played it on the on the units that have less HP, but it is what it is. I mean my hand's getting too full, I gotta skip. Remember card limit? Yes, we do have a card limit. We have to be very mindful of card limit. That is for sure. Uh, give me one second. I'll be right back. I hear, I hear a noise. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna go investigate. As if we haven't roped this man enough already. <laughs> I hear, I hear a noise, guys. Hold on. I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna go AFK and investigate a noise real quick. Let me investigate a noise. I'll leave the flambe in the oven. Don't worry. I'll let it cook. This poor guy. This poor guy. Yeah, give me give me one second. I'll be right back. Hmm, that's weird. I have no clue what that noise was. Anyways. Let's cook. <laughs> Dinner win con, indeed. And you know what and you know what he's having for dinner tonight. You know you know what's you know what's on the menu. Flambe. We are we are eating a warhead flambe tonight, and it will be delicious. It's the flambe? Exactly. 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 I mean, you've been here a couple of times. You are a regular at this restaurant. At this kitchen. So I would of course expect you to know. Alright, this is my last predict besides this one, which is not. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, like, if we could find a little more predictor before we start uh, bursting with our backpacks. That would be great. I'm sure we're about to hit card limit on some of the predicts we've played. Let's get down to business, shall we? Let's get down to brass tacks, as they say. <laughs> Opponent is sleeping right now. Yeah, the flambe is the flambe is asleep, guys. I think the flambe is asleep. I'm going to be honest. I think the flambe has fallen asleep mid-cooking. <laughs> oh, no! 
Uh, he's not asleep, don't worry. He's very much not asleep. The Jin is going to start healing you soon with the amount of minus two he took. It's so true. That is so true. It's a very good point. I got to be careful here. I might actually give this guy... I might give this guy the feeling that he's not going to win this game. If he thinks his Jin is going to start healing me. That'd be terrible. Hey, hey, <laughs> wait. Just when I thought we were running out of, like, predicts we could actually play without hitting card limit. Look what we found. <laughs> I'm not going to emote. I'm just going to try and get through this as much as possible. All right. I'm just going to try and get through this as quickly as I possibly can. I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best to make this a humane and close to enjoyable. Ex oh. <laughs> oh, no. He's just like, all right, listen. Call me Sharima. I'm going to go out with a movie. That's what this man just said. Short film. A short film screening before the flambe. How distinguished of our opponent. A distinguished gentleman this man is. A connoisseur of both good food and good film. <laughs> Bro's an eternal casual. I know. He's playing Annie Jin in casual eternal. Does he know? Does he know that his LP is not, in fact, on the line right now? I don't know if he knows. He actually, he might have goofed. He might have done a little misclicking and, like, queued up for the wrong mode. And he thinks he's out here grinding away on the, uh, on the ranked ladder. <laughs> 2.99? 2.99 chimes. That's insane. That is actually insane. That is unbelievable. I guess I do need to, uh, I probably should minus two the other units, shouldn't I? <laughs> I've been, I've been hard focusing on Jin this entire time. I forgot he has two other units. It's kind of funny. His LP might not change, but his psyche just got violated. It's true. It's, it's accurate. It's very true. Uh, if we do find a, a trinket trade, by the way, I could, oh no, is he leaving? No, please don't leave. Sir, don't leave. I'm done. I'll pass. I'm done. I swear, I'm, I'm, I'll pass. I'm done. I'll give you the floor. Don't leave. Just let me, just let me see one mere glimpse at that flambe. Please. I just want to see it. Oh no. Wait, we. You're too nice? No, we'll still win this one, guys. We'll still win this one. Okay, now we gotta win this one. Now I have no choice but to win this one. How do we win this one, guys? How do we win this one? <laughs> How do we win this one? It's the trinket trade, right? Or, like, we find, like, five pokey sticks, right? We still have a chance, guys, right? Do we have any pokey? We should have pokey. Oh, this is predict. Wait, this is predict. I thought we, I thought we were done. I mean, we're probably we're probably done, aren't we? My entire deck is just bursting backpack, which literally does nothing. All right. Well, <laughs> let's just let's just see how big that puff count count got, shall we? That that's insane. How did he not? I should I should have swung last round. I should have swung. This, 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 whatever. He, he deserves it. I was going to call him names, but he, he deserves the win. Still lost. <laughs> I won. Okay. If I swung, I won. I just forgot to swing. All right. Uh, this will be our final game with this deck. We'll probably build one more deck before ending stream. Probably build something in standard, but this has been, <laughs> this has been a good time. I have to say, this has been a fun one. The flambe smelled like burning. That, that flambe definitely, <laughs> that, that one was a little bit overcooked. I tried to get it out of the oven a little bit too, too fast. And yet somehow at the same time, it was also overcooked. I don't know how those two, those two things can be true at the same time, but they were. <laughs> they indeed were. Uh, there it is. Shuffle. Nice. 
I mean, out of all the meme decks I play, man, does it feel good to just play a deck that's like 50% predict. And just like almost every game, I'm like, okay, if we can just find... Oh, okay, nice. I have the entire combo. That's just, that's been every game start. It's like, okay. <laughs> One predict and there's all the cards I need. Done. Good to go. I don't need rules to know good from bad. Have you tried Nami Ionia this patch yet? No, I haven't. I actually meant to do that with Lee Sin in Eternal, but uh, I didn't end up having enough time. And it felt like, <laughs> I don't know. Felt a little bit cringe. I felt like people were going to get mad at me if I if I played Lee Sin instead of like coin printer or something. So unfortunately did not get around to that. I'm going to skip here. I want to keep all those in my deck because they're all one cost. I am the chosen of the storm himself. Maybe I should have opened. I probably should have opened swung here, shouldn't I? Probably still should have swung. going to be honest. Now he's just going to avalanche and I get no value. Yeah, no, I, I think Nami Ionia, I actually have some very specific thoughts on Nami Ionia. I think it is a very strong deck. I think Nami as a champion, people have not really cracked yet. I have some specific ideas on how she is, in fact, like a very good champion right now. Um, if I was playing like competitive instead of memes, I probably would be playing Nami Ionia. There's kind of a lot of scrying sands, I have to say. This is like more scrying sands than I would have wanted. A little bit of a yikes. I guess we'll just hit this. Again, I want, I want to keep those cards in my deck. Ideally. I'll go for this just so I can swing safely with Akshan next turn. Uh, we drop the landmark. And then we just go on like a very clunky and slow Lombe mission. I do not like the amount of one mana cards I'm seeing in my hand at the moment. This is bad. This is actually really bad. I've drawn like all the cards I want to... That's fine. I've drawn all the cards I want to stay in my deck, which is unfortunate. If I buffed Akshan, would he have sur No, he wouldn't have survived, right? He would have still died, 100%. Okay, I mean... As long as I can just find like the Clockling Predict and the Bakai Predict in my deck. We should still have decent copies of those, but I have drawn two Scrying Sands. So we're down to one Scrying Sands in deck. Oh, this is so sus. I'm gonna drop a Shelf Hulk, though. Don't care. <laughs> I don't I don't care how sus that pass it. That's fine. Okay, I'll Predict. Let's start with the Predict. Scrying Sands, that's amazing. That is fantastic. Well, minus two on the on the units that we're not going to block here. I'm going to fish for a... I can actually save both of these. I just I just shaped stone. Skip. None of that's exactly what I'm looking for. I need, I need to keep hand space open for cards that are good. Take a careful prep, and I'll throw Scrying Sands back in my deck so I have a better chance of finding it. Could even do this with shaped stone, potentially, but that's a little risky. I think I will, actually. I will absolutely do this with Shape Stone. I'll throw Shape Stone back in my deck. I have, like, three predicts here to find more Shape Stone. We're chilling. <laughs> We're so chilling. Look at that. And even with, even with a little bit of a bricked hand, look how easy this was to just absolutely demolish this man. This is insane. This is actually insane. This is unbelievable. What is happening right now, man? Everything is burst speed? Exactly. I mean, I guess we just start backpacking, don't we? Might as well just... Oh, no, there's a, there's a mistake. I goofed on that predict. We'll, we'll skip just to make hand space. It's all right. We can, we can manage to spill a little bit of value, I think. I do need to make sure we save Shelf Hulk. That is, like, kind of our main priority here. I did throw... We're still just looking for the shaped stones that I threw back in my deck. If I can just find one, then we're good. But if I can't find one, then we're not good. <laughs> so I do need to find a shaped stone here. If I can just find one of those, it'd be epic. If I can just find one of those, that'd be sick. If I can just find one, just one. That's all I need. It's just one shaped stone. There it is. 
Small a bear, true. <laughs> I get another predict from this. Isn't that nice? Bro's actually small a bear. We actually got a small a bear. Small a bear on board. <laughs> I made I made small a bear cry. Oh no. Small a bear is a small a bear get upset. Small a bear gonna throw a little te tempo tantrum. Small a bear gonna cry like a little baby. Alright, I mean, nice. So now all, all that's left to do is just like, you know, win. <laughs> Whittle tears for Whittle Wither. There's two more backpacks. Very pog. Uh, we'll play one more Scrying Sands. We can find more predicts that are zero mana. That'd be hype. Very cool. Uh, I kind of doubt Smaller Bear is going to even attempt to attack here, so. That's that's nice. We literally just stopped an entire Vola Bear attack. Uh, let's see if I can find a little more predict before we shuffle more backpacks into the deck. There we go. Pog. Who would win? Smaller Bear or Curious Pog Folk? That is the question. That is the showdown of the ages. Wait, I should have picked Trinket Trade. I could I could have gotten so much mana back. Maybe not though. Maybe Trinket Trade was not the move. <laughs> All right, it's understandable. It, this again, this isn't ranked. This is just casual. So there's really nothing. There's no reason for the opponent to stay in the game once we get to that point. <laughs>